seems to be that they will make anything into a roguelike game these days. In the past year alone I've played poker and even Yahtzee based roguelike games, but today I found out there is a mini golf roguelike game called Up To Par, and I'm sure that you are sitting there like me earlier thinking how in the world can you make a mini golf game into a roguelike? Well that's what this video is here for, we're going to talk about Up To Par, a game that's releasing later this month on Steam, and I'll let you know how it plays, whether you should check it out and what to expect. My name's Beggles, I do videos on kind of weird and interesting games, if you like that, leave a comment. So Up To Par is definitely all about the simplicity, it plays like pretty much any other basic mini golf game that you would have played over the past 10 years or so. It doesn't feel like all that long ago when mini golf games were all the rage and you'd be loading into mini golf games with 10 or so friends and playing together into the wee hours of the morning. Even played a couple of VR mini golf games which is pretty cool. You pretty much only have two things to worry about when you are playing this game. You will point in the direction that you want to hit and then click and hold which creates this power bar and release when you want to hit the ball. Seems simple. So what is the roguelike elements of that? When you are playing through up to par, the whole idea about this game is based around the idea that you need to use your three shots and get the ball into the hole. If you do it within the three shots, you survive and move on to the next hole. If you do it in less than three shots, well, that's where the good thing starts to happen. Every shot less than three, you get to save another shot for the next round. So you might have four, five, six, seven shots and so on for each subsequent hole. You'll play through these little mini courses, which are in sets of six holes. And at the end of it, you will collect all those extra shots that you have saved up and get to spend them on upgrades. Some of these upgrades are permanent, like giving you some bonus rewards for getting holes in ones. And others are little additional abilities, things like seeing the direction that a ball is going to bounce off or even having a couple of freebies when you hit the ball out of the bounds. So essentially, the better that you are doing, the more currency that you have in terms of extra shots that can be then spent on little goodies to make the game a bit easier for you. It's worth noting at the start of each course, you will go back to three shots, so you can't kind of bank the extra shots that you have, although you can spend two extra shots in your pro shop to get one extra shot. That sounds confusing, but essentially, it makes sense when you see it. Each time you play, you can unlock a new environmental hazard by reaching a certain amount of holes in your run. It's kind of an interesting mechanic here that essentially means that if you do well, you will make the game harder for you. You will start to get magnets, you will start to get little dips and hills that make the ball roll in funny directions. Although this does allow you to do some pretty cool mechanics like jumping walls and things like that, so it does make it a little bit more fun as well. One of my main qualms so far about the game is that it does ramp up in difficulty really, really quickly. You go from the first set of six holes, which are usually pretty easy, and you can pretty much birdie or eagle nearly every one, straight into some courses that are crazy. Now, obviously, the uh, counter argument to this is that I just need to get better at the game, and that's fair enough. There are some multiplayer elements of which I have avoided because I am sitting here playing this game alone, but, but up to part is definitely a fun little roguelike mini golf game. I guess one, th one area that I didn't mention yet is that there's also a daily challenge that you can play against other people, which is a selection of courses, and it comes down to how far you make it through in terms of your position on a ladder or how quickly you can complete that challenge. Up to Par is a roguelike mini golf game that releases on the 15th of October on Steam. Let me know what you think.